So we're continuing our six point review section here. Um, we actually have seen one very, very similar, if not exactly the same as this one before. Um, so it's kind of the disguised form of the log rule. The problem is, is that we, we would have to have some kind of u sub or something, but we don't have the derivative of e to the x. So we're going to introduce the derivative of e to the x, because if I'm going to use u at some point, if I'm going to do this, I have to have e to the x, right, dx somewhere. So the way that I'm going to introduce that is I am going to add 1 plus e to the x, and I'm going to subtract e to the x. So I'm basically adding 0. It should look very familiar. So I'm going to split this into two fractions. That's going to be the numerator of my first fraction. This is going to be the numerator of my second fraction. So 1 plus e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x, uh, dx. And then it's minus the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x, dx. Well, you notice that this first one just reduces to 1. This one here is the u substitution, right? Because there's my 1 plus e to the x. Here's my e to the x dx. So I'm just going to go straight for subbing in my u's. So we've got um, u and then 1 du. When we integrate 1x, we get 1 dx, we get x minus, when we integrate 1 over u, we get natural log absolute value of u, which is the 1 plus e to the x plus c. All right, the next one is kind of a disguised form of the power rule. So the first thing I would do is I would try to find my u, because there is going to be a u substitution. It's kind of crazy looking here. Um, I'm going to go for this whole thing as the u. So let's see what happens when I make the natural log of sine x the u. It means I got to take the derivative of it. So I have an inside function, which I normally do in orange. So the inside function's derivative is um, cosine x. Then the derivative of the outer function is 1 over whatever's on the inside, right? So 1 over sine x. Well, it's interesting, and oh, well, we need a dx at the end, because I don't have either of those things, and I need to figure out how to create those things if I'm going to use u substitution. But wait, I have trig identities. Couldn't I change this using a trig identity? Isn't that the same as saying cosine x over sine x? So we still have the natural log of sine x dx. So interestingly enough, look at what just happened. I now have these parts. So there's my du, and here's my u. So let's go ahead and substitute in. So we've got the integral of u times du. doesn't get any simpler than that. When we integrate the u, we get u squared over 2 plus c. And then we get, um, I'm subbing my u back in there, so the natural log of sine x, and then, of course, plus c.